Hey guys, it's Omewrecker, and I'm playing Payday the Heist once again, but this is a very special episode. We have a guest with us. His name is Vice. Hola, mi amigos. And he is pretty much like a Payday pro. He's going to help us do something really cool here today. I'm also joined by my other regular guests in the series. We got Mathis Games. Hola, what's up? And Red Panda Gamer. Hey, everybody. Unfortunately, Bears Havy couldn't be with us today, but he will be back next time. Yeah, but unfortunately, we are limited to the four players. So um, he will be back in the next episode. But Vice, in the meantime, he's going to tell us like everything we've ever wanted to know about the game while we're, I guess, trying to do the secret thing. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about the secret? Like, how when did it get figured out? And like, you know, um, what's changed since it, it, it was discovered? Uh, well, I'm just going to go to the loadout screen real quick. Yeah, but, um, uh, it was discovered by Team Thou- uh, 7200 and uh, with CK and his group. But um, at first, you know, we were getting all these cryptic hints from Overkill. And uh, they really, like, put us out in a loop because we decided to start taking it way too seriously and going to, like, Mozambique and all these other different places in the world just for this damn secret. But um, eventually CK figured it out, and uh, you needed your gold masks, which you need to beat all the original heists on 145 to get. And 145 um, is, like, a, a upgraded difficulty level. Yeah, like, the level goes, 145 and up. Yeah, level one. Once you hit level one forty-five, then you unlock the difficulty, and boy, is it a uh, not easy. Yeah, far from easy. <laughs> so, so it had all these requirements, and so eventually the the crew or is it a clan then that you had mentioned? Is that we, we would um, refer to them? They pretty much became a clan whenever they figured out the secret. Okay, and uh, the re- uh, reference to seven thousand two hundred. That's the amount of time that was the uh, the drill. The drill. Yeah, the okay. over drill, what it was appropriately named. Um, wow. So once you stood in a certain position, uh, this red flash would appear on the desk. It's still there, but um, a magic door would just appear in the back of the vault or in the back of the bank. And uh, mm-hmm. you put a drill on there at 7,200, which is two hours on the hardest difficulty. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, I can't even imagine, man. Like, how how do you manage your ammo with that amount or with that amount of time? Um, I'll show you when we're in game. I prefer hands on, okay. okay. so that uh, you guys yeah, can see yeah. what I'm talking about. Sounds um, like the best yeah. way to do it. Yeah, oh, let's do of it. course. Um, first we're, off, does we're anybody we're have an Mathis. ammo bag or okay. not ammo? Medic yeah, bag? Mathis. Uh, and both. Of, yeah, I have. Oh, I could put a medic bag. Uh, so we want. We do want a medic bag. I got one. Yes, we want. Uh, does anybody else have a medic bag? Do I I think know. I do. I don't, I don't. check. So. Um, uh, let me see. No, red is the only one. Oh uh, yep. Uh, I'm just gonna bring an ammo bag. Uh, this is on normal, so we don't really have to worry about the weapon loadout. That's what okay. you think. <laughs> well, I know, right? Um, I, think I would not recommend the locomotive ever. I don't think yeah. I can replace it with anything. I can't. No. <laughs> Oh, no, I know, but, uh, I mean, once you get something different, switch it. Will do. Because <laughs> it sucks on higher difficulties. Well, and that's the I'm shotgun, a, right? I'm level 14. I'm, I'm pretty pro. I don't know if you've heard. <laughs> yeah, that's we haven't the, played very much of this. shotgun so. they first give you, pretty much. Yeah, okay, yeah, that thing, yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> the SMG I like, but it's it goes through ammo like there's no tomorrow. Oh, yeah. All right, so, um, first what you guys want to do, just plain and simple... Oh, well, not out here. <laughs> First Don't hit one, F. Bank. Yeah, find the, find the bank manager, yeah. which he's over here. Oh, you found him already? Yeah, so I like to kill him to save time. And then right out here in this open lobby area, this entire area, you can go ahead and take out all the cameras. Right. I kind of fucked up on that info in my first video, but um, mm-hmm. people quickly corrected me. Yeah. Uh, so we're just going to start it up real quick, kill him, and- take the key. And and just to be clear, um, it's okay to kill these cameras, but once we get into the hallway, do not kill the cameras. Yes, yes, of course. Because okay. uh, th- those are the cameras that matter if you want to trigger the secret. Once you trigger the secret, then you can destroy it. Okay. Does anybody need to come with you and grab the extra thermite? Does that matter? Yes. Yes? All right. Uh, just so, you know, the just the easier to have the vault ready. Uh, I'm all by you myself. know what? Um, I just noticed I don't have game sound. Remember oh. when RPG was having that issue? Yeah, I did have that issue. Oh, that's weird. It is weird. 
So it's um, you as the all right, I have is, grabbed um, the extra thermite. Alrighty, uh, Matthias, stay over here. We'll get we'll, we'll get the security footage. Red and uh, Wrecker, why don't you guys get the uh, drill? Stay on the drill. Make sure it doesn't go down, guys. Sounds okay. good. Right. Right. And Matthias and I, we will get um, security footage. All right, I'm going. Oh, with who's, you. who's got the drill? I do. Okay. Uh, also, I'll grab some chump change. Whatever that means. All right. Thirsty. Oh, okay. So we do have the extra thermite. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're coming down to watch the drill. Yep. And I'm st I'm still really weirded out by the fact I have no sound. It <laughs> Has it ever happened to you? Or is that no, no bug by any chance? Never. No. Okay. Uh, also, the drill's down, guys. Okay. Oh, I'm watching it. It's that uh, pretty color. Um. Oh, wait, no, shit. I have the drill. I need to plant it. Fuck, I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm like looking at the spot. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh. oh, shit. It happens. Here come to the, the best of us. Um. There we go. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Whoops. Why do I have no... You think it's gonna be okay to do this video with no sound? Yeah, you'll um, be fine. This, I'm sure you could find like a soundtrack for the game and just yeah. put it in the background. Yeah. I mean, I okay. usually have my game audio so low that people think I don't have the sound in anyway. Okay. To be honest. So, so do you recommend, yeah. out of curiosity, on most levels, um, taking people hostage only when necessary, or doing it whenever you have the opportunity? It depends on the level. Um, uh, if it's on Heat Street, I don't recommend, you know, just walking down the street, tying up people. Yeah, we learned that lesson. Right, because you, you walk away <laughs> from them anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, on Heat Street, it's better to tie up somebody when necessary. In the bank, this is pretty much the only area with civilians, so it's, it's all right to just go ahead and tie them up for right, future right. use. Whoa. Here comes the Shit. assault. Give me, give me one oh, second. I need to resync drills. again. Three, two, one, Ooh. go. All right, I got sound back. Guess what? Windows, um, for whatever reason, had the sound disabled. Damn it, Windows! Yeah, <laughs> blame Windows. Oh, hey, do we have all? Do we have all security cam footage um, taken care of? Um, the security footage hasn't oh, been taken care of. I believe the uh, the cameras are done. Or I mean, yeah, the cameras. Because I did find a oh, couple that were still up. Oh, oh fuck! Uh. Did we already get? Um, Matthias, did you already get the security footage? I didn't touch any security footage. Oh, there it is. There, there, it, is. Is. there, there it is. There it is. It wasn't. All right, go ahead and cover me, buddy. Just in case they might pop in the windows behind me. All right. So, oh, we um, should you break were... all the cameras then. You were telling us a little bit about the. Uh, yeah, we should kill. We should destroy all cameras. Okay, because I got. Um, one. you were telling us a little bit about the masks. Um, so these like you know the different types of masks you had like the troll mask and whatever. Um, what's the story on those? How did how did people get those? Um, the mod mask, which is the black mask with the white overkill bomb on it. Yeah. Uh, you is have to do like something. You have to oh. do something in the community that that really made a difference or really improve overkill. Okay. Um. So that's how you get those. The troll masks. Uh, at the time before the Wolfpack DLC came out. Yeah. Uh, you had to find some way to troll the internet, like the, the release date of the wolf pack and all that. Uh, I got mine because I trolled the official Olympic forums. What? Yeah. That's I learned the forums like, uh, like important update, all Olympic athletes are required to get the wolf pack DLC on X, X date or whatever. Uh-oh, right. SWAT. I got the sniper, sniper's down, don't worry. Okay, I wasn't worried. Was. Um, the secret masks, which was, uh... Oh, what? How you get the secret mask was, uh, and you can, uh, most of these masks you can't get anymore, like the troll and the secret. Right. Uh, you had to do the secret at the time before the patch when it was 145 difficulty and, uh, you know, the, the original secret. Okay. So if you did that and sent proof to overkill, they gave you the mask. That's pretty cool. So they would just activate it on your account, you didn't need to, uh... uh in order to get into these masks, there's exclusive groups, like Steam groups. And oh. uh, they somehow, whenever you join it, it triggers something in your account, and uh, boom, you have the masks. That's okay. it's, it's a very different way of doing like downloadable content. I actually really like that a lot. Yeah, I mean, it yeah. kind of fits the uh, the theme of the game here. Yeah, right. you can right. go around the bank. The and, uh, some people are kind of pissed off by the exclusivity because some yeah. of these masks you can't get anymore. Right. Uh, but that's just people bitching. Yeah, I, I right. would, I would, I wouldn't be mad about that at all. It's just part of the fun of the game. Right. Yeah. Right. Should have been there. It's one of those times. Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and now payday two. Yeah. 
And well, and with Payday 2 coming out, right. people are going to have more it's opportunities. Like, right, exactly. It's and, like, oh well, don't, you don't want to mess, you know, mess up this time. And uh, one of the last exclusive masks is my masks, which uh, they're modeled after these events that I did during my charity live stream. And, um, okay. Which there were challenges in which they were pretty overkill in a sense. Like this mask I'm wearing right now, you'll notice like it kind of looks like a Tabasco sauce. Yeah. Uh, I did. I consumed the source hot sauce extract, which is oh. a, yeah, 7.1 million Scoville, and that's what this mask is uh, modeled after. Oh, and that's went, cool. Yeah, it's I got went, tears. It's kind of yeah, funny. I went 30 minutes without liquid. That was painful as all hell. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's what that's this awesome. mask is represented, but. Um, the only way I give out these masks is, uh, like, say, host your own charity event or uh, do something su substantial in the community or right. something along those lines of charity. What about, right. what about a pulp fiction? All right, it's open. All right, so don't oh, no. shoot the inside cameras. Okay. All right. And uh, before we go in the back... <gasps> oh, no. Before There's we go star. in the back, since I have the drill... Uh, I just crashed. Uh-oh. Uh Who crashed? I did. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I'm Hell? reloading. Uh, it's so weird. That, I think that was my fault. I, I was okay. messing around with the video options because I was getting like um, a wood effect going on. Wow. I could rejoin now. Alright. Okay. Yeah, no, that's alright. We like I like chains better. <laughs> as long as chains doesn't shoot the cameras. That's a good point. Oh fuck. Don't yeah. shoot the cameras. No, the, you have, no, you have an NPC think, who's doing this. I don't think chains. NPC will won't shoot cameras. Yeah. Alright, cool. They're dum dums in this game. Oh, alright, third mic, okay. second thermite's right. down too. Alright, right. resyncing again. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Three, two, oh. Oh. Okay. Shit. Oh, I just what happened? continually. Homewrecker, oh good. Homewrecker is joining the game. <laughs> you let's just, it. let's just completely break immersion for I know, God. 60 more percent. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things on this, <laughs> That's what I get, man. I, I was messing around with the audio and that killed Fraps you're once. Just trying and to, then... You're trying to show off for Vice. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta impress the big wig. Oh, well, 193. Someday I'm gonna get my own mask. Oh well. All right, so now we need to uh, stand in certain positions. So I have so, the drill, so I'll be standing in this position. Uh, okay. Wrecker, why don't you stand right here where I'm standing, yep. and you're gonna be looking right at that wall. Okay. Uh, Matt, Matthias, why don't you come over here, stand on this carpet, and you're gonna be looking right at Ohm Wrecker. Looking at Ohm Wrecker, and got it. Red, come here, and you're just okay. gonna. Be One sec. You're gonna be standing right here at the end, end of this carpet, and you're gonna be looking uh, at the clock behind the desk. Now, Just what about if people come out behind us and attack us? Uh, I'll be standing right here, and once we're all in position and looking in a certain direction, uh, it'll trigger. Sometimes it's a little wonky when it triggers. Okay. Sometimes you. Have, there we go. So now it triggered, as you see. See this? So uh, can right we look flash. around and fight? Yeah. Now you can, can do whatever you please. It's now. Uh, okay. So this flashing thing on the or on this table, that means it's active. That means that that magic door now appears back here, and now I gotta press wow. it on it. And now we have to wait 30 minutes for the drill to finish. Uh, go ahead and destroy oh. the cameras now. Okay. Okay. Now my oh my god, now my game crashed. Wow. No way. Yeah. First of all, I don't know. <laughs> well, the good news is we got AI here. Well, for now. All right, Down. I have the drill all set up. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and come over here in the nooks. Okay. Like this? No, uh, in this hallway. Oh, and in the hallway, gotcha. I'll drop my bag. Uh, whenever you drop your bag, uh, like Wrecker, since you're right here, push up against this wall and then drop your bag. Same goes with this, uh, yeah, push up to the side of this wall. So if I'm standing right here, I can grab the bag on the other side of the wall. Oh, I see, okay. And we could also revive through the walls, remember that, guys. Yes. So should we all be dropping our bag right now? Uh, and yes. It's better okay. if you drop like a bag in one of each of the nooks. Okay. And don't cross over to the other nooks, just sit here. Yeah, just, just wait around, save your ammunition, save your health. I'm back. Alright, okay. Panda, get one of the nooks. I'm, oh, oh, does it matter which one? And aim for headshots, we need to conserve ammo. Okay. Uh, you've got one nook. It doesn't matter what- I mean, it, yeah, when you say just, which just, one, there's one nook for you. Yeah, you actually have the nook. shit nook, dude. You're gonna see all of them coming in. Yeah, yeah. actually, Red, don't stand there, because that is the shit nook. Um, <laughs> I, just join one of us. You wanna cuddle you know with me, Red? Nah, uh, you know what? Yeah, sure, why not? 
I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna just uh, come right over here. Mm. This is a sweet spot. I'll, I'll say that much. I can't believe we didn't think about this. I mean, I did, but <laughs> yeah, it's so cozy. I know. I mean, seriously, this is like the optimal situation to, to write things out. Uh, what some people like to do, which I'm not going to do, is uh, they like to get all the money in the vault. And then once all the money's gone, they'll trigger the C4. Oh. Yeah. So that they'll stop spawning over oh. here. We got shield guy here. Yeah, yeah I got him. He's, he's pushing on me. Don't let him pick on you, Omrecker. He's dead. Tell him to pick on someone his own size. Any, yeah, anyone that picks on me dies. Oh my god. Nobody puts Omi in a corner. Oh. <laughs> Omi don't play. Omi don't play that oh. way, bro. Uh, Panda? Nope. Did you crash? Nope. Okay. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I don't even know what to do to make it not do that. See. Task manager. Oh, stupid thoughts. You think maybe it's OBS? Not playing nice? I did my do. Gotta use fraps, man. I, I'm not rolling with it. Fucking 10 gigabyte files. <laughs> Ridiculous. This Ridiculous. Oh, we got the, got the robot, got dude. Okay. Yeah. Beauty of the AK. Yeah, I heard it's great for penetrating the glass. Oh, yeah. 7 6 2 round in high succession. You're gonna fuck up a bulldozer in no time. <laughs> How is it for, you know, with uh, recoil in mind? Uh, just use, just, you just tap the trigger. Use trigger okay. control or else you'll burn through ammo. Same with yeah. the M car. Yeah. I love you, Panda. I'm not worried. About it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want I to cuddle with you again. I know. Yeah, yeah, this isn't, what... we, we never, we didn't have any problems before, so I, I don't, I'm not going to blame the game for our troubles. I am. Oh, cut it. My voodoo magic. Yeah, I blame Vice. <laughs> Really, that's the only person you sh should be able to blame. Right. I, oh. I, I mean, oh, there's ammo out there. I want it. Um, I know. Oh, well, yeah, it's not an assault. This is a normal, so go ahead and feel free to step out right. whenever there's not an assault. Yeah, fuck it you guys. It also conserves the ammo bag. Yeah, you guys could learn a thing or two from me. I'm just going to use my pistol unless I absolutely have to swap. Also, um, whenever you see a special guy, press uh, the default to F to paint them. Yeah. So everybody knows where he is. That's what I, yeah, I was just about to ask that actually. Oh, uh, even in smoke, spam your F button. That's. Oh, I'm out of ammo. It's like your godsend. You can probably run out there, Omen, and grab some ammo. Yeah, Omen, just yeah. run well, out there. No, you Wait, guys can't. I'm on the wrong side. I'm sorry I abandoned you. <laughs> I know, I was alone. Oh, Just like Thomas. He was also alone. He <laughs> but he wasn't. <laughs> Geometry jumper. So, um, are, are you start you're starting to make more general purpose videos, or are you focusing mostly on, um, on, uh, Payday? Um, Twice. I do like to give a variety of games, but, uh, yeah. like, I do have a lot of, like, Payday tutorials and, and stuff of that nature. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, here comes uh, an assault. You're way the hell out there. Yeah, yeah I'm I, coming. That's a no-no. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oma has a bad habit of just playing solo and running Ulm out has, there. Yeah. Oma has a bad habit of being bad at video games. You got to remember hey. when you play this game that uh, you, you can't be a Rambo or else you, yeah. you're going to die. Yeah. It's personal hard hard difficulties you're fucked without your team. How about a Jean-Claude yeah. Van Damme? <laughs> RPG. Uh, here's a question. Is this a proper strategy? If somebody's super low on health, is it better to just let them die and then revive them? Uh, did RPG crash? Certain... Panda crash? Yep, he did. Panda. No! Panda, no! But, um, in some cases it is, like, uh, any difficulty but overkill 145 difficulty. It's good to just let them get down. Once they're on their third down, then they use a medic bag, because... Um, you know, it goes by like 75% whenever you pick up, 50%, then right. 25. Oh! Oh, robot. So, uh, somebody, if go ahead. Somebody posted in my video that, um, somebody got, like, a, there was some sort of Easter egg or something? Because they called them oh. Space Guy or something? I no, forget. that's just what they called them. The reason why James from, uh, The Creatures, uh, you know, Uber Hacks or Nova, he got the, uh, giant toothbrush on Panic Room was just because he flipped out about a toothbrush in the game. Oh, uh, okay. That, that's it. It, it wasn't because of the Spaceman Craig thing. That's just what they call him. Like, I call him Stay okay. Puff Marshmallow Man, the, uh, the boulder. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
What do I call it? Taser's Pikachu. Oh, shit. I think uh, Panda actually dropped from the call as well. I think his internet might have went his down. his connection die? His connection might have died. Well, we could, we could ride it out for a little bit. Alright, we got plenty of time. Like, if you have two people here, like, easily you can take turns playing for the 30 minutes. Yeah. And I'm surprised how much ammo um, <clears throat> I'm actually conserving here. Yeah. I mean, even just running out in that little hallway for a split second. What are you doing, Wolf? Wolf is just uh, being a lone gun. He's got a MP5, uh, it looks like, too. It's called the Compact in this game, but yeah, it's modeled after the MP, uh, MP5. Great for okay. taking out snipers, but not so oh, much nice. for... Uh, like a uh, heavy SWAT. Yeah. Unless you aim for the head, of course. The only thing that sucks for RPG is that um, his video is going to be cut short quite a bit. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I wonder why he's having so many issues with the game the past couple days. I don't know. It, it could be the heat. I know that, you know, summertime. Uh, uh, we'll just leave uh, the bot, yeah. leave the bot, don't pick him up. He's stupid. He's stupid. Not worth it. Gotcha. Luck Why did he run all the way out? It, that's just what they do. They're just dumb. In the second game, at least the uh, AI has improved significantly. That's good. Oh yeah, they're way more responsive. So if you say, hey, stay with me, they're actually going to stay with you. But overall, I mean, Payday is obviously meant to be played multiplayer. Oh yes, it's, yeah. it's meant for a multiplayer experience. And it does just that. It's very good at what it does. It yeah. forces you to play in, in a co-op. Right. So how many um, how many hours have you spent in uh, Payday? Over a thousand. Wow. <laughs> I've been playing since release, but I just recently hit a thousand. I know people like, uh, well, Ilya, he's the fucking lead level designer. He has like 7,000. Oh, Damn. wow. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, buddies like uh, Lucius, I think he's around 2,000. There's, I know somebody with uh, like 3,000. Wow, that's insane. Oh, yeah. My only concern is, like, when, when you get to that level of mastery, um, you know, my concern would be that, it, you know, there, there'd be... You've, you've seen everything, it's essentially, at that point. Like, what, what keeps people playing at that level? It's just the experience that this game gives you. Left 4 Dead, yeah. what, what does that experience give you, for example? Yeah. Um, it's literally, you don't even need to say anything. You can just literally rush through the level. You'd be a lone right. gun. Payday, right. <coughs> excuse me. In uh, Payday, you need to work as a team. Without your team, you're you're not going far. Like on Heat Street, for example. I'm sure y'all hit that learning oh. curve. Yeah, we got our ass. That was the third one, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was, uh, we, we got we got to the point. Um, well, no, the third video we did. Uh, Heat oh. Street. Heat Street. We got to the point where we got to the point where the helicopter showed up. We needed to follow the helicopter down the road, and yeah. we ended up dying at that point. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't, I don't, I don't like a, the second escape kind of thing if you took too long. Is yeah, yeah. I must yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, uh, you know, you guys almost finished the level, so that was good. Yeah, I mean, it was That was a normal difficulty though. <laughs> yeah. But we again, we don't have that much gear comparatively. Right, right. Yeah, that and Heat Street is by far in my opinion the hardest level. Oh, really? Yes. The Heat Street is a bastard. All you're telling yeah, them is that it seems possible that we can do it. You, you can do it if you believe. Remember Parappa the Rapper. You, you just gotta believe. You just gotta believe. Yeah. yeah. So, does that drill that um, we're waiting for, does that thing stop? No, and thank God. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that'd like, make it fucking difficult as shit. Like I, even though Overkill is masochistic, they're at least, they at least have a bit of mercy. Or not masochistic, sadistic. Um, yeah. Like, uh... Imagine on 145, the hardest difficulty, for two hours with a drill that jams. Yeah. That now, is just not happening. Now, we waited a half an hour. Um, what did it used to, did it, was it always a half an hour away or was it longer? Uh, whenever the, we first found out the secret and for a short time, it was, you know, uh, 145 difficulty. You had to wait for the drill for two hours. You need your gold masks. Uh, and you need to be quick about the secret or else the cops will just, you know, kill you right where you are. How did you survive for two hours on limited ammo with this? Uh, the way we're doing it right now. Just getting, uh, just grabbing the ammo after between, uh, waves? Well, 
we wouldn't really risk our chances too much popping out. Uh, you know, we have our bags right here. Pretty much what we do is uh, all of us would have oh, Broncos. Shit. I got him, I got him. Uh, Whoa. We'd have Broncos, and the Broncos is a one-hit kill if you hit him in the head, like all these SWAT. Oh, nice. So that that's like 46 rounds. If you run out of rounds, pick up from the ammo bag, you're saving even more than you'd be doing with a Brenner or assault rifle. I honestly don't even think I've nice. touched the ammo bag since I put it down. I know I have. Yeah, I'm, sur I'm surprised that... Um... Oh shit, we got a taser dude. Just hit F and he's dead. Hold on. Up. No, he's dead. Oh, he's I dead. thought there was no assault. Whoops, that's just Bane talking. <laughs> Bane, the worst employer. Bane! Always. So, uh, there's a Machinima miniseries going on, right? What do you mean? That's essentially like g giving the backstory for this. I haven't seen anything like that. There's a web there's series. Not... I don't know if it's Machinima. Well, well or that's. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the web action. series. Yeah. Yeah. Who's um, actually creating that? Like, who's behind it? Is it Overkill it's or? Overkill, pretty much. You know, like their it's their whole ideal and thing. It's directed by Damien Lichtenstein, who directed movies like uh, Three Thousand Miles to Graceland. Okay. So uh, yeah, he has experience in heisting movies, I guess. Um, but it's going to be a seven-part oh, web series, and for some reason, they're really fucking up their uplo uh, uploads. Really. Because really? it's really sporadic. The first episode was on a Wednesday. Two weeks later, it's on a Friday. The third episode, it's almost like three weeks later. Um, no, no episode. Uh, what they're trying to do, and I predicted this, and I'm correct. Um, they're gonna have a trifecta. It's like a marketing trifecta here. They're gonna release oh. the Payday 2 oh, beta, the episode three of the web series, and the Payday 2 Steam cards all on the same day. Ah, I see. So they're just waiting for the Payday 2 beta to be done, and boom, they're releasing it. Now, is this beta something that anybody can get into, or um, is it mainly just for you know top-tier community members? Uh, the Payday 2 beta, if you pre-order the uh, criminal, uh, Career Criminal Edition on Steam, you will have two beta keys for Payday oh, nice. 2. So you can keep one and give one to your friend. Nice. Oh shit, there are snipers. And uh, me being the big fan I am, uh, I even pre-ordered uh, the CC edition on fucking uh, PS3. Oh wow! Oh nice. Yeah, I wanted that wallet. Oh, there's a there's a wallet you can get. Yeah, they send you like actual physical items. They send you uh, gloves, uh, a mask, payday wow. wallet, like a hundred dollar bill wallet, uh, the soundtrack, an actual physical CD of the soundtrack, uh, the game along with the loot bag DLC that you uh, the loot bag DLC you also get on Steam, even if you pre-ordered the base game, which is $30. That's cool. And, uh, might I add, Payday 2, far better than Payday 1, and you're getting a lot more content, and for the CC edition is 50 bucks, which is less than the price of a base AAA title. Uh, wow. I'll take that over Call of Duty or Battlefield any day. Looking forward to that. They actually have skill trees, it says, so a little bit more customization for the way you play. Yeah, they're gonna have more of, like, an RPG element. So uh, it's not really going to be skill trees, more like skill sets. It's going to be gotcha. set up in tiers. Um, at first they were going for a skill tree style thing, but people just, they weren't really feeling it. So they, they switched it up, the format of the uh, the skills. And, uh, you know, you could spend all your points in, say, Enforcer, and, you know, get that Man of Iron suit. Or you could go for a hybrid build, which is, I think, going to just dominate Payday 2 as far as really? stealth goes. Huh. Because, think of it, you kill somebody, you need to patch into the radio. Uh, around yeah. the third time without the Mastermind perk, uh, the third time they'll just trigger the alarm because they're not going to believe you on the, uh, you know, believe your bullshit story. Um, the Mastermind, he's better at bullshitting. So, oh, that's okay. good. Or you could be the Mastermind and get someone, like a guard, to give up without even attacking him. But he'll just give up so you can still continue your stealth. Uh, enforcer, like he could chuck bags really far. Nice. So yeah. that that really. Oh, oh, whoa! Did you not make this friends only? It is friends only, but that's one of my friends. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. that's fine. One sec. Well, I guess if RPG jumps in the call, maybe we could have him swap. But he hasn't come back yet, even to Skype. So. All right. Well. Um, I mean, he, your friend is welcome to stay for now. If you uh, want.
I just like to let people know when they join. Yeah. Yeah. One okay. of the uh, so yeah, that's another thing I'm excited about about the second one is that I really what I, something that I really wanted in this one was the ability to actually go through an entire level quietly. Is that possible yeah. in the second one? Oh wait, uh, yes, you can completely stealth uh, say the bank. Oh, just so I know, just so I tell him. Don't over troll. Just so he knows. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Well, what did this... you say? I'm, I'm very oh, sorry. Oh, uh, the second, the second one coming up now is something I'm excited about. It's, it's completely possible to stealth through a level and actually do like a quiet heist, right? Uh, yes. Like you've seen the uh, oh, well, if you've watched the videos, uh, the the bank heist, it is completely possible to stealth that without firing a shot. Um, but there's so many variables to take into account. It is very overwhelming. You really need to be on top of your game. Like, there's a, uh, a group of people in the focus test. Two people almost, like, fully stealthed by themselves. And then uh, a third person came in and, and helped them out. But they still stealth completely. Um, the art heist, the framing frame, it is completely possible to stealth that. And uh, if wow. you don't stealth it, it could affect the next mission uh, negatively. Or maybe really? you have an escape mission in between the days, so you need to beat your escape mission in order to go to the next day. So there's actual, like, you're progressing through days in Payday 2. Yes, there's, like, contracts. They go over a specific amount of days. There's different contracts. There's rare contracts, uncommon, you know, common. Very, that's uh, really exciting, because what Payday 1, what I want it to be, uh, seems like what Payday 2 is actually going to be. Don't get me wrong, Payday 1's a lot of fun. Um, but it's like survive the wave kind of gameplay, and pretty much that's all it is. Yeah, it, it was more like a swarm of cops here right. in the first game. Imagine Payday 1, a beta for Payday 2. Right, that's what I'm saying. It seems like Payday yeah. 2 is everything I wanted out of Payday 1. Oh, that, and trust me, you're going to get just that. Which is that what I'm actually really excited for. Now to hear you, somebody who's actually played it, say that's exactly what it is. Oh, yes, yeah. the, uh, the cop AI, it is far more vicious, and I brought that up during my... Uh, uh, my the Safe House podcast, and uh, we've talked about the AI quite a bit. Um, it is far improved. Um, all the cops, they got an overhaul as far as the AI and looks go. Plus, there's different kind of cops. You think the FBI in this game sucks? Wait till you see the uh, oh. FBI in the next game. They're vicious as hell. Um, really? And plus, um, there's different difficulty gradings on certain heights, so... No grading, you don't have to worry about SWAT. If you go up a grading, you have to worry about SWAT. Up another grading, that's FBI. And like, uh, they'll get to the, you know, the, the wherever you're at, they'll get there quicker. Or right. be right there as soon as you fuck up. Um, and the last grading is Special Forces, which I haven't really had a chance to um, mess with yet. So it, I'm really hoping that the Special Forces cops or if they're going to be military. I really hope they're as vicious as uh, the guys that I grew up with. <laughs> That's awesome, making me even more excited for the second one to come out. I really oh, like yeah. the idea of Payday 1, I just never had really anybody to play with it, and now I do, so yeah. I'm actually enjoying being into it, especially building up the hype for the second one. So um, One thing I like to do, and that goes with THT as well, we like to get new players, and we like to teach them the appropriate way to play. Right. Because if you join this game, you have no idea what you're doing. There is no tutorial. You're hitting a learning curve so hard um, that sometimes yeah. you just don't want to play. But if, yeah. luckily, if you find uh, an experienced player like myself or TAC or some of the other clans, um, we'll be more than happy to help you out and teach you how to play the game. So yeah, it's it's all a matter of who you play with and, and who teaches you. Or you'll over-troll if somebody is exploiting. If, if you are exploiting, <laughs> I have no problems over-trolling you. Right. That's <laughs> awesome. And how do people exploit this again? Like, they just keep doing it over and over and over yes, again? Yes, yes. Like, uh, you'll see the amount of gold is in there and uh, how much money you're going to get. And your levels yeah. are going to boost up exponentially. Um, okay. Even if I had Miss, uh, Mr. Nice Guy perk on, it would boost up even more. Yeah. But uh, I don't want to give you all that luxury just yet. <laughs> <laughs> but um at least you'll get a lot more gear from this but over trolling people like i said they'll maybe shoot out a, can a camera inconspicuously maybe uh they'll wait out the 30 minute drill and uh go up behind somebody who's putting in the tile code and purposely put in a wrong tile code so uh, the gas pops up yeah 
tell us a little bit about that, because I, I watched the video, Mathis has I have it. not, so I have no idea um, where I, this is all brand new to me, so. So, so this gas, like, you, you guys had to figure out, essentially, like, clues from, um, like, images on floors and stuff, I guess? Uh, or like yes, on counterfeit, um, pretty much they put a lot of the secret cryptic messages in there. And uh, okay. <laughs> who would have known that the uh, the tile code was some rugs that we were walking over the entire time? Yeah. But uh, the Florida leaves we figured out always pointed north, and there was a compass rug not too far away from uh, a rug that had a certain pattern on it, like a a, okay. a two by six pattern, and some of the patterns okay. were highlighted or some of the symbols. So we had to put those two together and find out. That uh, there's a floor to lease in the secret, like outside the secret vault, along with a two by six tile code. So we have to put it in appropriately according to which way is north, and boom, right. you're inside the vault. If you fuck up the tile code, uh, tear gas pops up. And if you don't get out of the tear gas, it will easily knock you down. So if you get out of the tear gas, or the tear gas, can you try again? No, no. Uh, once you put in the wrong code, you are screwed. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. That's not good. Um, which levels on or in this uh, game can be actually done without, you know, ever having to fight the cops really? Um, because I was I was watching a video of the hospital and I think were you in that one where there were hardly any cops at all? Um, it all depends on how <coughs> excuse me the how the hospital plays out. There's Plan A and Plan B. Plan A okay. uh, is kind of annoying because you have to spam civilians to stay on the ground so they don't press buttons. You have to search right. through these, you know, files um, to try and find this right patient who has a certain right. blood disease. You know, we're trying to get to him. And uh, if you manage to stealth all the way through that, you're able to dress up as a doctor and fool this other doctor, and she'll explain these three patients like uh, conditions. And each time they change up, and uh, each person hears a different con uh, condition. So you guys need to work together and figure out which patient is the correct patient. And, right. Uh, there's these wires that lead to this back room to a security box, and if you cut the right wire, uh, a shutter door will not close, and uh, you'll get that. Well, well, if you hopefully if you choose the right patient, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, well, then you can just easily go on to putting blood in the centrifuges and just run blood. But once you cut that wire, once you pull out your guns after you're disguised, um, cops show up. Uh, if okay. plan B, plan B basically, if something goes wrong in plan A, you have to pick up a teddy bear with a saw in its ass, start sawing open yeah. doors. Right. And uh, it, the cops show up and it's, it, it just makes it harder all around. So when do we know, by okay. the way, when the secret vault opens? They're gonna tell us? Uh, I wish I would have had it on a timer. No, it will not tell you. Actually, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go check now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I hear it still, but I'm gonna see how much seconds, uh, how many more seconds are on there. Uh, we're over halfway. We're at 600 seconds left. What the fuck? There's just a random blue swap back. Here. So it's so 10 minutes. Not bad. All right. Yeah. Do Mr. Nice Guys stack? No, no crew perks stack in this game. Okay. But uh, what you can do, what uh, oh, say if I have Mr. Nice Guy, I do not get the Mr. Nice Guy bonus. Everybody else does. Someone else can put on the bonus and give me the bonus. Gotcha. Okay, I see. But it won't overlap with anybody else. No. And uh, I like All that right. because uh, I guess, you know, if it was a stackable thing, they would exploit Overdrill even more. Right. And plus, uh, Mr. Nice Guy, it doesn't work the way that people want to, or uh, think it does. The way Mr. Nice Guy works is that it works on pickup uh, bundles, like cash bundles, or uh, like the diamonds and, and diamond heist. Okay. It, it, it gives you a bit of a bonus on those, but not like okay. mission objectives. So on missions like Heat Street, you don't need to bring Mr. Nice Guy. Gotcha. Okay. But you only get that once you hit 145, by the way. Oh, okay. Nice. Almost there. What's the max level then? Your max, right? Uh, if you have point? the Wolfpack DLC, you get an extra tree, which I believe Wrecker, you have it. Yes. Yeah, I bought it. I bought I just the Wolfpack bought it DLC too, by the way. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. So uh, you get an extra tree, and it increases your level cap. Without the Wolfpack DLC, your level cap is 145. With the level cap, or uh, with the DLC, your level cap is raised to 193. 
Okay. And uh, boy, do they give you a lot of goodies in this thing, like the grenade launcher, which is great on shields, and AK right. for bulldozers. Uh, the strike pistol is kind of shitty if you don't have good trigger control. Yeah. But uh, I, I still use the Bronco, just because one hit kills. Right. Actually, one of the things I'm I'm curious, well, not curious about, but excited about is uh, the way they're actually changing talents because in the first one, in this one, it's kind of a uh, confusing to figure out how the talent works with holding down the tab button and seeing what's highlighted. We couldn't figure out how exactly it worked for a while. Omrecker, myself, Red Panther, and yeah. so on. Yeah, we were we were a bit confused there. Yeah, like I said, there's there's no tutorial or any hints about that, so you're hitting the learning curve pretty yeah. hard. Now, is that different though in Payday 2? Uh, in Payday 2, uh, there's no real... Well, so they got that whole, they got that whole, like, talent tree type situation. And... Yeah, that's for your skills, but there's no real, like, oh, I'm gonna level up and unlock a new weapon. Gotcha. Um, in a sense, it's like that, but you need to buy that weapon from a shop. That you, okay. that you use, like, the, from the money you heisted? Yes. Actually, I like that a lot. You actually get to use the money you've heisted. It doesn't. Oh actually... yeah, that that was probably the most disappointing thing in the first game. You steal all this money, but you have nothing to buy, nothing to really. Right. Use it's like on. just experience points almost. Yeah, that's right. exactly what it was. In the second game, they're not experience points. It's actual cash that you use, yeah. and they, uh, there's also an offshore account, which we have no idea uh, what the, what it does. Maybe for the safe house feature, which we still have yet to see. Um, yeah. Uh, in the second game, it's literally, if you beat the heist, you get your experience. Uh, That's exciting. Yeah, plus uh, you get more experience once you finish the complete heist. So say if it's a span of three days, at the third day, you know, you get all your experience. Plus you get the payday at the very end. Which, uh, the payday, it's very, I love, I love the payday feature. Also, oh, that's interesting. I mean, I'm I'm really looking forward to. Me too. To checking Did you ever it out. play uh, Kane and Lynch 2? I really wanted the multiplayer to be kind of like what Payday 2 seems like it's gonna be. Uh, I've never played the Kane and Lynch series. I've heard good and bad things about Kane and Lynch 2. I hear Kane and Lynch 1's way better. Um, I've seen a couple Kane and Lynch uh, 2 videos, and like, uh, even in the very first mission, it seems like glitch out a lot. Well, what what I, what I liked about Kane and Lynch 2, what I wanted to like, was the multiplayer feature where it was heisting. Um, there was a group of players who was heisting X right. amount of money from a building, and then there was another right. group of players who played as the cops. And right. um, what was fun is they had that kind of backstab ability where you could kill your own team members, um, and then when they died, they become a cop, but at the end, it meant all the money, you know, there was more money for you, in which you spent on other stuff. It's more like a right. one-way split kind of thing. Right, exactly. So, say me and my friend well, joined up with, like, a few randoms. We'd plan the whole time to kill off the randoms after we're done heisting the money to make off yeah. with the most. Well, uh, unfortunately, Payday 2 won't be the kind of game where you can take over as cops. Um, yeah, no, no, that's fine. I don't, that doesn't... Oh, 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 try, yeah. But um, it, it's still, you know, the four-player co-op, and you know what? It's far more hard, uh, way more harder than the first game. Yeah. Um, yeah. Starting yeah. out in the game, you have no body armor, so if you take a couple shots, yeah, you're gonna re uh, your armor's gone, and they start chipping away at your health, and you just, once again, it's a hard learning curve. Even starting out in the pre-beta, uh, it was overwhelming, you know, just starting out. Hmm. Should we go check on that drill, by the way? Uh, has we it, have, no, we have at least another five minutes. Oh, okay. okay. Mathis is on it. Yeah, thank you, because I was not counting on uh, you guys get me you talking about payday, I'll just keep talking for days. Yeah. So, what is this alien mask here? If you own an Alienware product and activate the Alienware FX, you unlock the, uh, Alienware masks, which is another set of exclusive masks. Uh, I'm probably gonna get an Alienware keyboard just so I can unlock that, uh, that, and I have the entire collection besides the developer mask. Wow. But That's uh, very cool. so pretty much, it's it's somewhat exclusive to the point where you just need to buy an Alienware product and hook it up. Okay. Okay. I would imagine that, that there'd be like um, codes on eBay and stuff too for people. Oh, no codes, it's all Steam groups and uh, oh. it, you know, it's it's more, I guess you could say, even more exclusive than that, than you okay, know, just that's keys. Cool. It's interesting that they, you know, they tied Steam groups into it. Oh yeah, I, I'm actually very uh, surprised, I've never seen anything like that. No, yeah, neither have I. But uh, Overkill, there's smart cookies, like, uh, what I like what they did with the first game that I hope they do with the second game is that achievements help you level up. 
Uh, okay. No other game up from what I've seen has really actually utilized that, so it gives you an incentive to 100% your game. Right. As far as achievements go. But are the achievements going to be too difficult to get? Because that's been a big problem. Uh, some of them are, some of them are not. Yeah. Uh, it just all depends. On the 145s, uh, you're going to have a fun time trying to get your gold masks. Now, what's the story on gold masks? Um, basically, whenever the overkill 145 difficulty came around, uh, yeah. in order to get your gold mask, you need to beat all the original heists, which is the six original heists on overkill 145 difficulty, and boom, you unlock your, uh, you get the gold mask achievement, and you unlock your gold masks. Oh, wow. Which okay. is, uh, they kind of look weird, but once you get them, like, if you get them legitly, then it's, yeah. it's a big sense of accomplishment because you really busted your ass to get them. Well, and th that was one other thing that came to mind. There's a lot of people that use um, achievement unlocker tools. Yep, and those people I do not play with. Okay, so you're able to tell. I, I can easily just, tell look at their... if somebody is using Sam or if they exploited the game. Uh, right. uh, you know, you can tell by the date they unlock the achievements, how many hours they have, yeah. um, even their overall play style. Yeah. That's interesting. I wonder if, if they're going to be able to, you know, do anything to, to or to deter people from uh, going that route. Uh, Overkill doesn't reward cheaters or hackers. I can tell you that easily. Yeah. So, um, if they say if they want to uh, get a set of exclusive masks, like say the secret mask where we had to send in proof, Overkill yeah. can tell if it's BS or not. Right. Oh, so those masks that were on the wall in the secret vault, those weren't just ones you picked up and entered your inventory. You actually had to email yes. in order to get them applied. Yes, okay. they sent you, uh, they reviewed your video, and then they sent you an invitation to the group if they, uh, you know, if they feel you're legit. Which... Now, what if... So oh, go ahead. What if, what if somebody had claimed they did it that week, but they never emailed in? Uh, and, and they didn't have video footage either, they were just playing. Uh, screenshots don't count. Um, okay. Like I said, it had to have been in that time oh. period. Uh, you had to send in your, your proof within a certain period. Okay. Oh, shit. Right, what do we do? Or how are we doing on time, Mathis? Uh, we yeah, are going to be good in about a minute. Okay. I would say we could probably head over there after this assault wave is done. Cops yeah. are retreating now, so we can go ahead and push up to the vault. Okay. Wait, should we reload and stuff or no? Uh, you guys can go ahead if you want to. I'm just gonna get set up to put in the code. Yeah, I want to check this out. I'm gonna be with you. Alrighty. Mathis, you want to come too? Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna gonna go I'm not sure if you guys will get the achievement for unlocking the vault because you guys dropped out. Well, Mathias didn't. But uh, oh, I'm not sure if you'll get the achievement. But uh. uh oh. You'd have to go I guess through we'll it all have... again. Can I walk on this or no? Yeah, you can walk on it. Just uh, don't interact with the tiles or else uh, you might get the wrong one. Okay. That's one. Interesting. It's actually kind of cool. And uh, if you slip up once, boom, you get gas and you're fucked. 30 minutes wasted. Yeah. We wow. Oh my god. This is what we came for. Should I have gotten an achievement? Uh, it, I haven't gotten one yet. Once the vault door is open, uh, yeah, but mo almost all the achievements, actually I believe all the achievements in this game, you have to have played the heist from the start. I got it. I got the uh, achievement. Yeah. Shit, I didn't. So, yep, you just is, got there any, is there any bonus to the, the achievement? Uh, yeah, all achievements give you a bit of extra experience and help Wait, you level up. Do we, do we share gold in this? Yeah, you or? share money. Uh, me, there's okay. no point in me picking up anything really because, uh, you know, max level, yeah. it's not like... It's just oh, adding money to my account. Yeah. Wow, this is insane. This is actually kind of fucking cool. I, I can see why you... I can see why people fucking exploit this. So that's asshole of them to do. Yeah. Why uh, am I getting shot? Uh, Christmas present. Go ahead and hop up on the table and grab the present. Another achievement plus Santa mask. Yeah. Oh, nice. I already had the Santa mask. Oh, why is that? <laughs> okay. I just know they made it harder to get uh, the second time around. All right, so why? now. What? Is it possible that I was with somebody before when they did the this run? I wonder, because I have the Santa mask. Oh, uh, there, there's a Santa mask on each of the levels. Okay. It's All just right. they're really hard to get to. Like, some of them you have to take a leap of faith. 
And uh, yeah. you're gonna go down, but you have to be quick to grab the mask on the way down. So go ahead and hop it down in the uh, thermite vault, and we'll get all the cash. Okay. All right, did I just say thermite cash? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh shit! I mean, just cash. All right, man. That, I'm still. I'm getting like levels up over and over. And yeah, over me again. too. <laughs> I could tell you it's... your levels, or I could just let you guys figure out how much levels you guys just got. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna enjoy it and see how many I get. <laughs> Man, now I feel bad. RPG missed out. Plus, uh, if you do it on higher difficulties, you know, like you get more ex uh, experience from the gold and all that. And, right. But uh, like I said, I just didn't want to spoil you guys too much. And yeah. surprisingly, that I mean, maybe it's because we did it with you and your friend, but that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's on a lower difficulty. Uh, it's true, still kind of tricky to do. Well, yeah, you did know everything that that we needed to do. There's a rope. So There's a we... big uh, fucking big bulldozer dude behind us. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get him. Go ahead and reload a med up, guys. Uh, you know, okay. don't even worry about it. Just reload meta up and we'll be on our way. Alright. I'm- I'm already 47. 48. Yeah. What the fuck? Alright, I'm good to go. I'm good. Alright, let's go. Alright, you lead, I'm gonna follow you. And that's a oh, lot so of cash. Pretty much good, yeah. Why is it so empty? Because they're Wait, all... Say, Excuse me, back in the vault. Ah, uh, okay. Sometimes there will be snipers out here you gotta be careful for. That's why I always run behind there. Uh, yeah. Some more cover. But, uh... Yeah, I killed this. I killed the snipers that, that spawned earlier. There were a few of them. Oh, then good job. Because uh, that just made our escape easier. So, uh, what... A... Best tip I can give right here at the escape. Keep running. Don't fight. Keep running. Yeah. Wow, that, well, that'll certainly make our videos more interesting. Yeah, we'll have more gear to use. Oh, yeah. Although, um... Oh, okay, so just keep running. Yeah, like I said, just keep running. Don't follow me, by the way. Don't hop down. Uh, it's okay. really hard to parkour in this game at times. <laughs> yeah. Almost there! To the right! Almost there! Alright. Uh, Although I did notice, out. I did notice I was leveling my technician. So but yeah, all that uh, money it, you just got went into tech. Uh, tech. Yeah. Wow, that was awesome. That's fun. Yeah. Boom. Very very cool. Jesus. Oh my god. Jeez, you did some work, Ohm. Oh wow, highest body count, really? Yeah, I got 150 body count. I had That's 160. Insane. I had a 160 body count with an accuracy of 32%. And 85 headshots. And you got the steam achievement. And I got the achievement. Yes, I did. That's awesome. And your yeah, overall now... levels are... Boom. Yeah, holy shit. I started at level 14. <laughs> Almost so 40 levels. Easily exploitable. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. that's ridiculous that it could be that exploitable. That's uh, sucky. <laughs> hopefully in the second game, Overkill said they did learn their lesson. Uh, and it will not be as exploitable if it can be done multiple times. Yeah, that's good. Good, good. So they're confirming that be there's like going to be secret stuff like this. Oh, if you notice in the uh, uh, the CC edition on Steam, it'll say like Bane's Guide to the Criminal Underworld, and you'll see under there, the hunt for Baldwin continues. That is a reference to the secret. Uh, nice. So that's more of their sadistic uh, crypticness. Interesting. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, we'll, we'll definitely have to link up again, especially when Payday 2 comes out. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. Means yeah that was fun. And I, I really appreciate you showing us the secret here. Um, so this was the secret vault in the bank mission, everybody. Thanks so much to Vice for uh, showing it off. Thank you very much appreciate for having it. me. Yeah, thanks, yep. man. It was a blast. And, uh, yeah. and, you know, we're going to go ahead and link his channel, so make sure you guys check him out, especially for all things Payday going forward. Oh, yeah, all things Payday definitely come to me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for joining us. And uh, thanks to uh, Mathis, of course, for popping in as well thank you thank you guys i will uh and i'll see you guys next time <laughs> well yeah and i also want to say rpg you got to get your computer fixed god rpg Ugh. that's why we can't have nice things dude that's how, yeah. exactly <laughs> oh he's he's gonna be pissed when he sees our level yeah he is <laughs> are you jelly <laughs> oh god anyway right. thanks well, thanks you so much again dude it was a pleasure talking to you and a lot i learned a lot about the next game making me even more excited for it so i will uh i will be in touch anytime all right, and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.